Good morning. We finally got a gorgeous day. We've been waiting for this forever. And today we're zooting back to Rugby to meet the lunchtime train from Edinburgh. I'm picking up my friend Makiko. So yesterday we left Calcott Boats. Uh, we had our first engine service done and we had the fuel supply fitted to our hurricane heater. And we supposedly had our air problem sorted. Whenever we get halfway down the diesel tank, um, we have to pump the air out before we can start it in the mornings. And they said they sorted that, but he did it again this morning. Never mind. Um, we want to try and get back down through Hill Morton Locks today. We've just come through them. They're only open from eight to a half four because there's a water issue. Um, so we'll see. What our aim is, is to go down and spend a few days at Braunston with Makiko because it's lovely down there. One of our favorite spots so far. Um, we met some locals last night who told us some good places to go. So we want to go and do a bit of exploring. But if we don't make it back through the locks today, we'll get down there tomorrow morning. Most important thing is that we meet the train today. Well, we found the Kiko and we're back at Braunston. And the Kiko is going to do something special on the video later. But in the meantime, we're off up to the church to see if we can film something that we spotted up there the other day. Up here is a baby peregrine falcon. And there's remnants of birds all around the bottom of the church. We can't quite see him, but he's making a hell of a racket. This is the fastest animal in the world. It's amazing. It can dive at 200 miles an hour and cruise at over 50 miles an hour. Oh dear, that was probably lunch, wasn't it? This week, Makiko has come to visit and Makiko is a origami artist and she's a real ninja at it. And so I challenged her to make a narrow boat because after all, narrow boats aren't that difficult to make, don't you think? <laughs> um, I'm going to put a link in the description to her Instagram page because she does amazing origami art and she does workshops and everything she makes is really fun and it has a fantastic sense of humour. So I'm going to give the floor to Makiko now and she's going to make our boat, I think. Here we go.
we're at the rubbish point at Braunston and we found an old cabinet that was dumped and uh, we need a step to stand on because we're both short asses. so Henry's taken this drawer out and the top of the cabinet for strength and he's going to invent us a step it's a bit disgusting but nothing that soap and water can't cure See if that's a good height. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's brilliant. I can see. I can see clearly now. <laughs> Here we are at the end of the video. We're back up at Rugby for the final time as Mikiko goes back to Scotland tomorrow. She's just finishing off. I'll show you actually. I've been participating since June a project called 100 Days Project Scotland and this is you repeat a project that you made up yourself every single day. So I decided to make a hundred flags every single day it could be countries it could be states so i've done 97 
and I've got three more to go and today my 98th I decided to do a state of California flag which has a grizzly bear like this so at the moment I'm assembling them together with a little bit of grass and then ready to take a photo so all my origamis are uploaded onto my Instagram account if you want to see the past 98 days. I've got two more days until I finally finish 100 days. Well that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed that video. See you next week, same time. Bye for now.